This is the this is the uh, conditions we were dealing with. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but it's literally yeah. It's, oh yeah, it does. It's whipping. So we're out to our campground. This is our first day at the campground, but unfortunately, our heater broke. The one thing that we really did not want to break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we are about to go look for a heater for the night because it's going to be down to four degrees. So we're going to need something to keep us warm because yeah. it is pretty cold. <laughs> we have a replacement part coming in tomorrow to hopefully fix the heater. <laughs> so yeah, <sighs> hopefully everything works out. All right. So we just got back from the store. We have a fully stacked Bridge and a fully stacked pantry. And <laughs> an electric space heater. So we don't absolutely freeze tonight. So now we feel a little bit better for tonight. That's gonna be four degrees. <laughs> but the bus actually feels pretty good right now and we still have our our eco flow which is heating, putting out about eight, 86 degrees. Honestly, I don't know how much it's really... It doesn't feel that warm. Yeah, it's not really doing much in here, honestly, but... So we were on our way to Breckenridge, which is about a 50 minute drive from where the bus is parked. We are driving My Little Civic and super low visibility, a lot more than two inches of snow. So like a mile in, we decided to turn around and then we already kind of got like stuck when we were turning around a little bit. Back to Artie. Today we are waiting on a part for our diesel heater. So I'm, I guess I'm kind of hoping that it comes sooner rather than later. So hopefully that can yeah. get figured out. Yeah, today's supposed to be the coldest day. It's like uh, 24 degrees right now. So it's not, it's not too bad in the bus, but we definitely wish we had our heat. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes with our pump for the diesel heater. He had to walk there because the lot was not plowed, so he couldn't take my car. We got the fuel pump. I already put it in, and it seems like it's working. And it's supposed to be the, like, the coldest night tonight. So if this works, then... <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. I've been freezing all day. I was literally just like, is it off? So today is Wednesday and we still do not have our heater up and working. So, <clears throat> the part that Zach had paid to get express shipped here and he installed didn't fix the problem. So he has been trying to contact support with very little luck. They're very hard to get a hold of and pretty poor at answering like emails and stuff. So he is outside under the bus right now troubleshooting. We are planning on going snowboarding later today, but we Zach wanted to try and figure out that heater first, obviously. We had our really cold light night last night, got down to four degrees, but we were definitely okay in here. I am so thankful that I got that little space heater because that actually does a lot for the space. So it's a good backup to have. One of the customer service guys emailed me back today and told me like four more things that it could have been and I saw that there was a ton of white smoke coming out of the heater when we turned it on. So that told me that it was probably like a carbon buildup. So I had to take apart, I had to take everything off the heater, take apart the whole heater, clean out the burn chamber. And then I put it back together, plugged everything back in, and now it's working somehow. He did it. He's magician. I'm dirty. <laughs> <laughs> 
just a wee bit. So I'm glad it's working. We got some heat so coming far. out. My muffins are done. They came out pretty good looking. They are banana walnut chocolate chip. We got our piles of stuff for snowboarding out here. So we're gonna get ready, eat a little something and hit the slopes. <laughs> We're in the top of the record. We've waited two years for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Best fries ever, literally. I have not had a fry this good anywhere else in the whole world. <laughs> mm, chicken sandwich. French onion soup and Caesar salad. And more garlic aioli. Got some things from Breckenridge. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told Zach right before going into the stores, I'm like, don't let me buy another sweatshirt. <laughs> what did I buy? <laughs> a well, sweatshirt. It's a good one and <laughs> it was a good deal. So and then I got this little mug. We don't have any mugs in the bus, so I know I wanted a mug from Breckenridge and yeah, this is the little perfect tin mug, can't break, so it's perfect for the bus. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we also got a little Colorado magnet. We've decided that we're gonna try and get a little magnet from every state that we go to, and we're just gonna pop it on the fridge somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is not a strong magnet. Uh -oh. So we've had a, a very great day at Breckenridge today, snowboarding, mm -hmm. but our heater is still not working what is this day day five <laughs> day, day five with no heater and somehow we've been okay i mean yeah well i know how it's the electric heater that i got that has been kicking yeah. i don't know how that little 30 dollar thing has been yeah. producing some heat moral of the story if you ever do your own conversion definitely do spray foam insulation oh yeah that <laughs> makes such a big difference because yeah. i say like generally the air feels like warmer the coldest thing in here is the floor because yeah. we're so used to having that floor heat on and oh, without yeah. it and definitely being in Colorado where there's snow and lots of wind, it goes under the bus and you just feel that drastically. I'm actually kind of excited to go to this new campground. Me as well, me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should be, it's like a two hour drive, but first we have to clean up in here, lock everything down, empty our gray tank and all the stuff. Yep. Empty the poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to empty our composting toilet, which Mandy never does. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> You want to be throwing up in it? No, not in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Around it. Hi. 
outside. All right, we're gonna get going here, start cleaning up, and get on the road. <laughs> time. It's been a pretty good trip. It's super pretty here. Maddie's in her car. Healing up as well. We drove through some pretty awesome scenery and towns actually. There's this one town called Bailey, Colorado and that was adorable. And they have this big hot dog thing in the side of the mountain. That was so cool. $175 for 47 gallons of gas. I have glasses, sunglasses marks on my face. I look pretty messed up. But we had our, we had our first person come by and honk at us and flip us off, so that was nice. Um, but oh well, you can only go so fast through these mountain roads. <laughs> Zach's amazing, cleaning my windshield for me. It really needed it with this Colorado roads and snow and salt and whatever, mud. made it to our second RV park. Oh. <laughs> the little park next to our camping spot with a nice pond. Maddie was just saying we should have brought our fishing poles. Yeah, on this thing they left for us, it says it's catch and release, no license required. What? <laughs> yeah, this is super nice though. And it's like 70 degrees here, which <gasps> is a super nice change. Yeah, I need that sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> We made it to our next campground for the next two weeks. Yes, it is lovely. First yes. of all, the weather here is amazing. When we yes. got here, it was like 70 degrees, sunny, just like gorgeous. Completely different. Like it feels like we're in a different <laughs> state right now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but we really just drove like two hours. Two hours north. As soon as we parked, we had someone come up to us and compliment us on the bus. So He's like, that's it looks nice. nice. To see. Yeah. <laughs> But unfortunately, our heater is still broken. Um, but there's some pros and cons to that. I mean, one, it's a pain. Um, we got it from Heatso, and the customer support is just, that's been kind of a pain. But hopefully, we can figure that out so we can get hot water soon. Obviously, uh, we're not too worried about being too cold now. Right. But, but this week was a really great experience just because. That was the one thing that we did not want to break at all, and we didn't know what we were going to do if it did break. But we were comfortable in here, even with the little heater that Maddie bought for $36. Yeah, and I'm very surprised that little thing kept us very comfortable in here, but yeah. it really... I think just like having that solid spray foam insulation throughout the whole bus just made the biggest difference. And yeah. having the windows open during the day so the sun could even warm up a the inside a bit helped. Yeah. So. It's yeah. just nice to know that like when things go wrong, because they will, yeah. we'll be able to figure it out and like be okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We survived and we had a great time snowboarding. So. Right, that is the thing. We also lived it up while we were in this stressful situation still. So yeah. I'm, I'm just happy like it didn't bring us down too much throughout the week. There's definitely yeah. days it did more than others, but yeah. We're here. We had a great week. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was yeah. a great experience, a great first week in Colorado in the bus. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, definitely very stressful going through the mountains and everything. <laughs> but now we're in near Fort Collins, so there's really nothing to worry about. And we're excited to show you guys what's next in our bus life Yay. journey. So thank you for watching and we will see you again next week. Yeah.